Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BTN HD. And yes, Lenovo has released new ThinkPads within their P and X lineup. So let's get into it. All right, so I have the NDA embargo that was released today at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And they released a crap load of ThinkPad P and ThinkPad X. So they released the ThinkPad P15, the P17, the P1, the P15V, and last but not least, the ThinkPad X1 Extreme Gen 3. Now, all these machines are going to have a high performance 10th generation processor. Awesome. Uh, they are going to be fully equipped with the new ultra performance mode, which actually allows the user to take full control of their performance settings by dialing up or down their system to ensure peak performance. That's awesome. Now, one cool thing about this performance mode is that the ultra performance mode is going to be set as a default within BIOS. Got another sheet right here with the breakdown on when they are going to be available. It looks like all five models are going to be available July, right? Uh, starting price for the P1 Gen 3 is going to be around $2,019. The P15 Generation 1 is going to be around $1,979. The ThinkPad P15V Gen 1, 1349. The ThinkPad P17 Generation 1, starting price is going to be 2119. And last but not least, the ThinkPad X1 Extreme Generation 3, 1749 is the starting price. So let's get down to some of the specifications. Now, all these machines, again, are going to run a clock speed between 5.1 to 5.3 gigahertz. They are going to run at least a 10th generation processor. For operating systems, they're all going to run at least a Windows 10 and you are able to get it configured with Linux. For the ThinkPad P1 Gen 3, you could get up to a NVIDIA Quadro T2000 graphics card. For memory, only up to 64 gigs. Storage, four terabytes of M.2 solid state drive, wow. Now for the power supply, it looks like they kind of slimmed down that power brick. Uh, for this particular model, you could get the 135 watt or the 170. Uh, for connectivity for the ThinkPad P1, you're going to get two 3.2 USB ports. One is going to be always on charging, two type C, one HDMI, and then you have one combo audio jack. Now for the display size, it's going to be a 15.6 inch display. Uh, you get two flavors, Ultra HD or Full HD. On the Ultra HD, it's going to be OLED Touch. And the starting weight for the P1 Gen 3 is going to be around 3.75 pounds. Wow. Now for the P15, it looks like the graphics card will go up to an NVIDIA Quadro RTX 5000. Now for memory, it looks like it's only going to go up to 128 gigs. For storage, up to 4 terabytes. The power supply is either 170 watts or 230 watts. For ports, uh, two 3.2 USB ports. One is always on. On. You have two type C ports, Thunderbolt 3. We have one type C, one HDMI, your audio combo jack, a smart card reader, and your RJ45. Uh, this one as well has two flavors with the display. The size is going to be a 15.6 inch Ultra HD or Full HD, and the starting weight size is going to be around six pounds. Now we have the ThinkPad 15V, which is the latest one for the P lineup. Uh, you could get up to NVIDIA Quadro P620. 64 gigs is your capacity for memory, up to four terabytes in storage. Now for the power supply, it looks like you're going to get a 135 watt slim. It looks like all the power supplies are going to be slim, which is a huge, huge plus. Uh, for ports, it looks like two 3.2 uh, USB ports. One is going to be always on charging. Only one Type C Thunderbolt 3 and HDMI and audio combo jack, and then one RJ45 Ethernet port. Now, for display, again, you get two flavors the 4K Ultra HD or the Full HD. And the weight size for the P15V is going to be around 4.57 pounds. Now, the last one for the P lineup would be the ThinkPad P17, which is actually the 17.3 display one. Uh, this one again, Ultra HD or Full HD. Now the starting weight for this machine is going to be around 7.7 .7 pounds. The graphics card is up to a Quadro RTX 5000, up to 128 gigs of memory, 
uh, for storage, four terabytes. And for the power supply, you can either get it 170 watt or 220 watt. It all depends on how you get it configured with the graphics card. For ports and connectivity, you got a lot of ports. You got three 3.2 USB ports one always on charging you have two thunderbolt three ports one type c one hdmi an audio combo jack a smart card reader and then you have your rj45 which is awesome cool and then last but not least the only thing that's being released or upgraded for the x lineup would be the thinkpad x1 extreme gen 3 this one you can only get it configured with an i9 temp generation processor the graphics card would be the gtx 1650 ti with max q with four gigs uh 64 gigs is your cap for storage it looks like you get two solid state drives which are total up to four terabytes for the power adapter it looks like 135 watts for ports it looks like two thunderbolt three ports uh two usb 3.1 one SD card reader, one HDMI, one audio combo jack. Awesome. For display, you got a lot of flavors. Uh, you got a full HD IPS with 300 nits. You got one with HDR. You got the one with 4K anti-glare. And then you got the one with 4K OLED. And the starting weight for the ThinkPad X1 Extreme Gen 2 is going to be around 3.76 pounds. And that's it, guys. Those are the latest announcements on Lenovo's ThinkPad P lineup as well as the X lineup. I'm pretty excited about all these mobile workstations. These are powerhouse machines. Hopefully, I could get a couple of them in the lab to test out for you guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to hit that thumbs up. Do not forget about punch, elbow, and smashing that subscribe button to get the latest and greatest from this guy. And I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.